August's a bit of a mixed bag for me down here in the New Forest. We're still shooting roebucks at the tail end of the rut. We're really just shooting the cull animals now, the trophies have been done. And we're shooting any of the fallow which have got obviously poor heads. Anything which is questionable, we're leaving until the velvet cleans off in a couple of weeks. The sunrise this morning was spectacular. The heather's coming out into bloom. It was actually reasonably cool this morning, so the mist was lying in the valleys. And it's just a beautiful place to be out stalking. I'm checking on the fallow pretty much daily at the moment. So we've had a bit of a rec reconnaissance session today. Um, just looking at how the heads are progressing, they haven't fully formed yet. So some of the back spikes are still left to, to really come through and then the velvet needs to clean off. And then we get a good idea of what we can offer particular clients as trophies and which heads need to go as cull animals. An average day today, really, for me. We've, uh, we went out this morning at four o'clock. Sun was coming up, sort of half four-ish. So it was a nice morning. Saw lots of animals. Didn't see anything that I wanted to cull, really. Uh, we did see a, a yearling row at the end of the stalk, but it wasn't a safe shot, so we couldn't take him. So I'm still doing a bit of calling on the row call, which we use for the muntjac as well, very handy tool. Get, you still get lots of reaction from the does, they come barging in thinking that their fawn's in distress. And every now and then when the bucks feel like rutting, they'll come in strong to the call as well. And um, one top tip is be ready on your sticks when you're calling for row bucks because they can come from any angle and at any pace and you just need to be ready to take your shot. Still shooting my trusty Seiko 75 in 3006. Had it for donkey's years. I love the rifle, it shoots sweet as a nut. I can run anything I want through it and it just gives me consistent groups. The sheer number of fallow in the new forest is staggering. When you drive around early in the morning or late at night and you're seeing them in your car headlamps, you just would not believe the number of deer that are here and consequently we've, we've got to control them when they're getting into private ground. The Forestry Commission are responsible for the deer which are on the open national park and then people like myself control the ones in the private areas.
fallow are very different to anything that we've shown you up to date in terms of stalking methods. They're a herd animal and they mill around a lot. You've got to keep watching them, wait for a safe shot, you've got to make sure you've got your backstop and there's no other animal stood behind them. During the day they lay up tight and rest and come out late in the evening to feed and that's, that's the time you want to be focusing on them when they're in transit between the area where they lie and the area where they feed. This morning we saw a small bunch of fallow, there was about 12 I counted. Um, the shot was on in terms of I could see the animal, but I couldn't clearly identify how good the heads were and which one I wanted to take, so I felt it was best just to leave them for now. They'll be there another day. Most of my stalking grounds sort of within 15, 20 minutes of Lindhurst where I live. Um, I was born and bred here. I uh, don't really think I'd want to live anywhere else. It's just a perfect little place. Some of my clients bring their family and they walk around the village. There's loads of things to look at. Lots of little boutique type shops and restaurants, pubs, um, loads of things to do. And then of course you've got the New Forest National Park itself to go and explore with the ponies, the cattle, see the deer, uh, lots of tourist attractions that you can go and visit. Yeah, it's just a great area for the family and um, I enjoy having my stalking clients here. I'm proud to show them around. The weather at the moment is just ridiculously hot. It's really tough going if you've got a stalk on foot for long distances, carrying your rifle and then potentially dragging an animal back to where you can get vehicular access. It is tough this time of year. Uh, I, I can't say I really enjoy the heat. I'm more of a cold weather man. So I'm looking forward to getting back into the winter months when I can be wearing my big jackets and fleeces and you know my floppy wellies. Uh, I'd love to get them back on, but it's too sweaty at the moment. I know a lot of people don't like to see male deer shot when their antlers are still in velvet, but with experience you, you learn which heads have got potential and which heads haven't, and you can see that from quite early on. So I take the ones which are obviously not going to make the grade. They can be taken out nice and early, and then that leaves it clear for us to focus on trophies and improving the genetics in the herd. Faith and I are really excited about the next edition that we're going to film for you. We're going to go and shoot a red stag, uh, which is something Faith's never done with me before. Um, obviously it's a huge animal, so that will be exciting for her. This evening I'm visiting a small farm which has a bit of a historic problem with fallow. Being a small farm right on the forest boundary, it sort of gets marauded overnight by large herds. So I spend a couple of evenings a week there just knocking the numbers down and keeping the farmer happy. Get the guts out of this thing. Mm -hmm. 